Jordana Brewster, after divorce, I found myself in the love of my life. I felt that it was the right time for me to marry Andrew. In hindsight, I realized that I was 27 years old, but I was rushing things. When you can finish it right now, why wait? It's who I've always been. I was a star on as the world turns from 15 to 18 years old while I was a student at the professional children's school in New York. I didn't want to wait to try acting until after I finished school. With my parents' help, I wanted to show myself that I could succeed while I was still a young child. Sure, practical. However, I was also in a hurry, as usual. At 18, I starred in the faculty in the Invisible Circus before beginning my freshman year at Yale University. I studied hard Monday through Thursday in New Haven and then took the Metro North train to New York to audition and, I won't lie, have fun. I dated actors and athletes 10 years older than me, but none of the relationships was very serious. I was fractured, one version of myself at home or school, and another in the relationship. At school I wore no makeup, chain smoked, and lugged my giant backpack from class to class. I loved sitting in lectures and taking notes, but in the city, with my boyfriends, I wore the proverbial mask. I was the perfect-looking girlfriend in the stands at the baseball game or party. My boyfriends never saw me as a whole because I didn't let them. I relocated to Los Angeles following my graduation from college. I found it challenging to transition from a rigid schedule at work and school to none at all. I was free to go to bed and wake up whenever I pleased. It was a disaster for my type of personality, but my day was free. I had a few relationships with guys, but they were all incidental. I couldn't seem to find my true footing and was hopping from relationship to relationship and set to set. After four years, I was hired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre in Austin. On set, I got to know Andrew. We moved in together a month after we finished the movie. A year later, we tied the knot. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I was going through a major transition, but I wasn't really aware of it. He was actually my first real boyfriend. The first person I let my whole self be seen. The first person I went on a longer than brief weekend trip with. I suppose I wasn't prepared. I ignored all other problems because I was so focused on the number on the scale. I became an eating disorder sufferer and began to binge during the first year of our marriage. He helped me and was safe and kind. I was aware of a problem with myself. I lacked any outlet or creative output. I was lonely and depressed by the passivity. Every now and then, I would attend auditions while my spouse worked a full day on set.